Contributing $3.6 billion each year to the national economy, the U.S. grape industry is the highest valued fruit crop in the nation. That's according to Wine America. Louisiana grape producers share that impact here at home. With just 30 acres of vineyards, Louisiana winemakers injected nearly $400,000 into the state's economy last year. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Kristen Oaks takes us to the only vineyard in North Louisiana where Jeff and Libby Landry invite you to reap the benefits of a plentiful harvest. From the first grape harvest to uncorking the final product. Jeff and Libby Landry use agritourism to educate the local community about winemaking and agriculture. It certainly helps people to understand um, that there go, there's a lot that goes into that glass of wine that they're enjoying. Here at the Landry's fourth annual red wine harvest celebration, visitors get to see the entire process from the vine to the glass. This season, the Landry's harvested a record 28 tons of red and white grapes. Jeff says each new crop offers new opportunities to expand their business. We have increased our production significantly and we're producing near, right at 10,000 gallons of, of wine per year right now. Jeff says the community is the driving force behind their growth. Our community really supports what we're doing out here. Local resident C.J. Sauter says she's watched the Landry's Winery grow from the ground up. It's been really, really gratifying to watch it happen. This is something that's completely different for Northeast Louisiana. If there's one thing Northeast Louisiana needs, it's diversity, especially in agriculture. The Landry's Harvest Festivities give visitors a taste of all things Louisiana. Food, music, and of course, great wine. For our community, it's a great thing because this is something completely different that people get to come and do as a family unit, and they have such a wonderful time, and it's a great, wholesome place to be. Now this is, of course, a celebration, and the way the Landry's invite their visitors to celebrate in the grape harvest is to join in on one of the oldest winemaking traditions, the stomping of the grapes. It's a fun thing to do. It's a different thing to do, and let's face it, in Northeast Louisiana, there's not all that much to do, so this is a good party atmosphere. It's a good wholesome atmosphere. People get to do something they wouldn't normally get a chance to do. More than 800 visitors came out to celebrate this season's red wine harvest, and the Landrys hope their music and wine festivals will continue to grow larger each year. Jeff and Libby have really committed to producing a quality product in an unusual place. And that has gone into every single thing that they have done. Whether it's the wines, or the concert series, or the tasting room, they have committed to doing it right. And when you do something and you commit to quality, you're bound to be successful. Yeah. For the Landry's, success is best when shared over a bottle of wine. In West Monroe, I'm Kristen Oaks for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Like other fruit and vegetable crops, all of Landry's grapes must be picked by hand. During harvest, the Landry's invite locals from across the area to come out and help pick grapes. If you're interested in learning more about Landry Vineyards or to even take a tour yourself, just visit our website at twilatv.org. Still to come on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, it's crawfish time in Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen as Holly and AJ show you how to make a quick and easy crawfish casserole. But first, why do people stomp grapes with their bare feet and how did that tradition get started? Kristen Oaks tells us in the Ag Minute. 